So at this time we now want to test this application just to see how it works. So but there are a few things we need to do. For instance, we, are, we need to add the configuration. We need to also add some initial data. We need to add the configuration for the H2 database so that we'll be able to uh, see the H2 console. So let's start with uh, configuring the H2 uh, properties of the H2 data. Uh, the H2 database in the application.properties file. So let me just open this file. And to configure the H2 database, you need to add a few commands. So spring.h2.console.enabled equals true. And you need to add the data source. So let me say spring.data source data source dot platform equals h2 and we also need to add the data source url so spring dot uh, data source dot url equals jdbc jdbc if i'm not mistaken dot h2 dot h2 and, uh, colon mem uh, then you specify the name, so let's call it ecom demo ecom demo db. Yeah, ecom demo db. All right, and let's just say the auto updates will be true, so that each time the application restarts, it will not have to overwrite it. It simply updates the database. So I'm going to say spring dot uh, so jpa dot hibernate dot ddl ddl auto ddl auto equals update and now i would like us to just run this application on uh, a different port so i'm going to specify server dot port server dot port uh, equals let's run it at eighty eighty seven okay this is fine so this is configuration for the h2 database I like us to insert some initial data into the database. So I like to create a new file in the resources folder. This file is going to be uh, will contain the initial query to load up this database when this when this application starts up. So I'm going to say I'm call it I'll call it data.sql and I'm going to just paste the query here. So this is basic in, uh, SQL uh, SQL statement to insert some initial data into the database. So I'm inserting into the product summary. Take note that the, pro the name of the table is product summary and this is a name Hibernate calls the table uh, based on the name of the of, of the of the read model. So we have other summary. Hibernate actually splits it and use I think this is called Pascal case. I don't know, but this is underscoring between uh, the two words. Um, then finally, we need to add the configuration. So I'm going to click on this add configuration right here, and I'm going to just go to this plus sign and choose um, Maven. I'll choose Maven. And here I'm going to simply specify Spring Boot Run. That's the command line and that is fine uh profile nothing and then maybe before the launch maybe we can just try to build so i'm going to choose build build project or build and i'm going to apply so at this time we now have a configuration a run configuration i'm going to save everything and then let's run this application then one more thing one more thing you need to actually uh set, start up axon server you need to start up axon server so if you've installed axon server uh, let me just show you what to do. So this is Axon server. Once you download it, unzip it into some place in your folder. And me, I normally uh, create, instead of running in the command line, I simply create this file I called, uh, let me just open it in notepad. So basically this file is what uh, I normally uh, use to run uh, a Java file. So basically create a notepad file, save it as .bat file and place this inside and place uh, this inside. So basically this is the directory to the Java file you want to run. So, so once you do this, 
if you double click on this stat file on this on this file it will actually run this particular jar file specified so that is one thing you can learn outside that you simply need to open the cmd navigate uh, navigate to the location of the jar file and then uh, use java uh, java minus jar and specify um, the name of the file but this is very easy for me i think so I have this Axon server here, so I'm, I'm simply going to start it up by double clicking right here. While I start it up, I'm going to also go and start up my application. So I'm going to just come here and just click on this run button here. So likely we might have uh, one or two errors or maybe not, I don't know. But normally uh, there is always some error somewhere, uh, even if you've done <laughs> the best you can uh, that is one thing that happens so let's see so our server starts up uh, it normally starts up in port 8084 as you can see a024 so let's go to check whether axon framework starts at port 8084 uh, um, so let's see let me get the browser here 